Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here from Easy PPC Tutorials. And in today's really short video, I'm going to show you how you can go into a display ad campaign in Google Ads and check if you're actually having any uh, cost and impressions and clicks and so on accrue against expansion or display audience uh, optimized targeting. So basically, this is where Google takes your audience data that you've inputted. You've said you want to target a custom intent audience or a remarketing audience or certain keywords on pages. And Google's kind of taking the lead and, and showing your ads to people who it thinks are similarly qualified or similarly relevant, but not necessarily in that audience you've targeted. So it's a, a bit of a look-alike or similar audience type play. Uh, and what can happen often uh, when I go and audit or review Google Ads campaigns for clients uh, is that they have display ad campaigns up and running that at a high level, at a top line, look like all of the targeting or all of the activity is showing up in audiences that they've targeted. But actually, when you go and look at the breakdown and look at a, the display expansion and optimized targeting, a lot of uh, traffic is actually coming from there and it's not necessarily working very well for them. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Google does not do a good job at showing you how to find this. I think, you know, for a sort of self-serving purpose, they hide it away a little bit. So I just wanted to show you how you can look at it, how you can then turn it off if you think it's not pulling its weight for you. So here I've got an old testing display ad campaign. This is a very old campaign, didn't spend much money. There's not a huge amount of interesting data to look at here. But here we have this campaign's ad group. There's only one ad group that's running it. It's a custom intent targeted display ad group. We can see there's been 239 clicks reported, uh, just under 41,000 impressions. Now, if we open up that ad group and go and look at the audience table, what we can do here is we can see that there's actually the audience segment I've targeted. It's a custom intent audience called uh, Digital Marketing Consultant. It's a custom segment here. And you can see here that actually it's only telling me I've had 228 clicks. But just before we looked at the total on the ad group overview page, we saw 239. And that's because 11 clicks and roughly 2,100 impressions and about $7.20 of cost have come from expansion and optimized targeting. Now, in this particular example, it's not a huge amount of expansion and optimized targeting data that's coming through, but I've seen it in remarketing campaigns, for example, where it can be half of the campaign spend, sometimes even more, or depending on how you set up your ad group structure and your targeting, you know, sometimes quite a lot of the budget is going to this expansion and optimized targeting. And although you can check the performance, although there's no conversion tracking set up for this campaign anyway, it's just purely to illustrate how this functionality can be accessed and how you can turn it off, which I'll show you in a second. Um, you know, you unless you know where to look for this, you're not going to know how to actually go and identify the difference in performance. And sometimes it can be quite significant. So with that in mind, if you're not happy with what you're seeing under expansion and optimized targeting, if you think, hey, I'm going after remarketing and I really only want people who've been on my website, I don't care if Google thinks that it's found someone who might be a good fit, they have to have been on the site first. Whatever your reasons are, if you want to turn it off, how do you do it? If you go to settings in an ad group, so you need to be inside the ad group, and then you want to hit this button here, edit ad group targeting, and it pulls you through to a slightly different looking window. It can take a little bit of time to load. And you can see here, that this ad group, uh, so we're looking at an ad group, the custom intent ad group, it's targeting a audience segment. We haven't excluded any segments, but it's this piece we actually want to look for here, use optimized targeting. So that is enabled by default. So if you turn that off, that will disable the optimized targeting option and you shouldn't accrue any spend going forward against that expansion and uh, optimized targeting byline or subline within your report. So if that's enabled and you're getting a whole lot of this uh, optimized targeting traffic coming through when you review this breakdown that Google kind of hides away, you need to go into the ad group and then find the edit ad group targeting option and then actually disable this. If you're getting good performance and you're happy with it, feel free to leave it enabled. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I have seen some pretty poor results in accounts I've audited and reviewed recently coming from this. And a lot of Advertisers just aren't aware of the fact that this even exists. Google does not do a good job at publicizing it. So you can go in there. I've left it on for now. This campaign's not running. But just to reiterate, what you need to do is actually review your audience data first under audience segments, check out the table. This line here is the one you're looking for. And then if you're not happy with what you're getting performance wise, you know, if, if the numbers were reversed here and it was 10 clicks off the audience I targeted in 200 and 25 clicks off the um, you know expansion and optimized targeting, I'd probably be looking to turn it off or think, hey, I need to look at adjusting how my campaign or ad group is set up. 
So if you've got any questions, please do let me know. Um, more than happy to answer them. Leave a comment in the uh, comment section on YouTube and I'll get back to you. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more free Google Ads advice.